the story that gets me out of here is he's talking about this, and it reminds me back to a day in college where a friend of mine was working in the shop as a mechanic, and this doctor, local doctor here, this was in a corner gas station in Armstrong. And my buddy uh, said the doctor used to love watch him. He has the doctor leaning over his shoulder, and he says, uh, man, that's so crazy, and he's putting this motor together. And do you know how many pieces are like in your car engine? Okay, hundreds of little pieces. In a motorcycle, there's thousands because we have our transmission, our motorcycle, our clutch, all that wrapped up in one case. So here's a thousand little pieces. And so the doctor's turned into my buddy and he says, oh man, it's just so amazing. I just can't believe you could put all that in there. And he's like, you're a surgeon. Like, <laughs> why are you amazed at this? I mean, look what you do. And he goes, oh, that's easy. And my, so my buddy turns and he goes, what do you mean? He goes, oh, you know, I, there's so much room in here. He goes, you just move organs around, you just stuff them in there. He goes, and then you sew them up. He's like, it's pretty easy. He goes, realistically, he goes, that is a lot harder. And my buddy's looking, he goes, are you kidding? Like, no way. And he goes, no, no, your pieces that you put inside an engine, they are usually a thousandth of an inch apart, and they have to run, okay? Now, let's, let's stand up. i got great, great exercise for you. Get it. Just stand up for me. You're going to love this. Okay, if anybody doesn't mind maybe possibly having dirty hands, i got four pistons here, so I need four volunteers. Okay, this is the piston that's in your engine. Now what you're going to do, I just said that that piston rides against its cylinder, okay, at a thousandth of an inch. Okay, so to put that in perspective, that's about the thickness of four human hairs. Are you with me? Okay, we're doing math here. That's pretty good, right? So take your arm like this, and you guys have the pistons in there. Okay, so that goes up and down. Okay? Okay? Are you with me? And all your cars, trucks, anything out there, the stoplight out here, at idle, at the stop sign, that goes up and down 16 times a second. Can we do that for me? Go ahead. 16 times a second. Go ahead and sit up. I want to put this into I want to put this into your imagination here. 16 times a second. This goes up and down at the stop sign. Okay. My race bike. I'm going to show you here in a, in a second. Just flip it through. 320 times a second. Can you wrap your head around that? I mean, aliens, I'm telling you. Like, God is huge. I don't know, but uh, I, I can't imagine this technology. So back to the surgeon story. He's telling my buddy, he says, that's got to be one thousandth of an inch, and it's and then it's got to work. So the, the example we just gave for you guys at a stoplight where it's 16 times a second, and then when you say your expectations about any car should last a minimum of 100,000 miles, like everybody just has that generic number in their head. It has to go and do it for 100,000 miles. Okay, it's crazy, it's crazy techno. So my buddy, this is the joke part, he turns to the doctor, he says, well, hey, now wait a second here, then how come you get paid 92,000 times more than I do? And he looks at him, he puts his arm around, he says, try and work on that while it's running. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that's pretty true. Okay, all right, you know, ours get to pause, we get to take the heart out, and we get to, you know, uh, and we get to bring it back to life in a very controlled environment. Every day, you guys are working on live people. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you.